Now I would like to continue with the key deliverable of the TCRA project. As you can see in the short video, the main deliverable of this project was to create an online open access learning platform for teaching the design thinking methodology. This platform can be found in this website, cocreationplanet.eu. In fact, in order to design this open access learning platform, our academic and industry partners followed a design thinking process as well, and then delivered this platform at the end. However, this was not the only aim of this project. Another important aspect for us is the transferability because of the, um, because in its essence, design thinking is a very broad framework and it can be transferred to several disciplines from management to medicine, and we would like to promote this with this project. These are the main characteristics of the platform. First of all, it is using a game-based learning approach. It's an innovative tool which is student-centered and includes the students in the learning process. This is an interdisciplinary tool and it can be adapted to several disciplines. Moreover, it's an open source web-based platform so that all students can reach this platform wherever they are. If we look at the benefits of this platform for the students, I think the most important contribution is that you can get acquainted with the design thinking methodology or you can master its phases. Furthermore, you can become more independent, entrepreneurial, and stimulated to venture. Moreover, you will be able to acquire 21st century skills, which are considered as future-proof skills and competencies. Lastly, this project will provide you a chance to expand your circle with diverse stakeholders. So far, the TICRA platform was used in 11 courses in total from Ghent University, NKUA and UNIWA, which are our internal academic partners, and external academic partners, which are Izmir University of Economics, ESET, and Aegean University. This semester, we have six more courses in which the TICRA platform and the Choico games are used. Now let's move on to how to use the TCREP platform section. First of all, you need to go to the website cocreationplanet.eu and here you will see the names of all courses as a list. And these are the courses in which the TCREP platform is used. Of course, you are welcome to check the tools and games in all courses, but your course instructors customize the tools and games included in the platform in order to align it with your course topic. So we expect you to use this platform in your design process during this course as a complementary self-learning tool. Thus, you need to find the name of your course here in this list and just need to click on it. To give you an analogy, the design thinking process can be seen as a journey, in fact. In order to make this journey more understandable, especially for novices in design and students from disciplines other than design, we use this analogy. Here, the design thinking process can be seen as a journey in the planet from one continent to another. The continents correspond to four stages of this methodology. For instance, if we click on Discover Continent, we see these countries, Empathize Country and Exploring Country. These countries are the concepts educators want their students to learn, such as empathy. If we click on, for instance, Empathize Country, here we see these cities. And the cities are the tools that students can use to learn these concepts. Here, the green squares are the external links to some sources, such as TED Talks on empathy, articles about empathy, interview guide, and so on. On the other hand, the red circles represent the Choico games, which are specifically designed for teaching this concept by our internal and external academic and industry partners. These Choico games are the main contribution of this problem. 
and you will see these games in almost every country. I will not explain it in detail because after my training session, Christina will take over and she will explain it further, but I just like to describe it in a nutshell. CHOICO stands for Choices with Consequences, and it's an open source online authoring tool that provides an opportunity to play, design and modify choice-driven simulation games related to complex real life issues. For instance, this one is a Choico game, which is about empathy. Allocated time here, effort, money, and immersion. These are parameters and they have initial values in the beginning of the game. But there are also some choices, such as observe user at work, and it has consequences values. The main aim of these games is to find a balance between a variety of parameters and choices and stay in the game as long as possible. All elements, parameters, initial values, background image, choices and their consequences can be modified and a new game can be designed with the design mode of the Choico game. But Christina will explain it further soon. Second page, T hyphen graph. We also have a YouTube page I really recommend uh, checking this one because we also share some videos about how to play the Choico games here. 